Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Marvin Samdani with the top news of the day. After being closed for almost a year and a half, all educational institutions will reopen from September 12th. The decision was announced by Education Minister Dr. Dipumuni at a briefing after an inter-ministerial meeting at the Cabinet Division on Sunday. The Education Minister said that students of 5th class, SSC and HSC will have classes every day. The rest will attend classes once a week. The decision regarding PSC, JSC and annual examination will be taken later. The Education Minister mentioned that masks are mandatory. Over the past few weeks, there has been a downward trend in coronavirus infection in the country. In the last 24 hours, 70 people have lost their lives in corona. During this time, 2,430 patients have been identified. Meanwhile, the second dose of coronavirus vac vaccination program in the country will start from Tuesday, September 6th. A Coach Bihar court has remanded E Orange patron Sohil Rana, who fled to India for three days. The BSF's preliminary interrogation revealed a lot of information. The IGP of, of the police said that they will look into the matter how Sohail went to India, who is accused of embezzling thousands of crores of taka from a customer. Thirty members of the gang have been arrested in a raid in the Dhaka Medical College Hospital area of the capital. RAP 3 Executive Magistrate Polash Kumar Bose led the operation against the gang in the Dhaka Medical College Hospital area on Sunday morning. Polash Kumar Bose said that the patients coming to Dhaka Medical College Hospital are being taken to various private clinics and hospitals by various brokers. So far, 30 people have been arrested. Flight operations have started from today under the air bubble agreement between Bangladesh and India. The first flight left for Chennai in the morning. According to the agreement, six flights of three airlines will go to India in a week. The airlines are Bangladesh Biman, US Bangla and Air Indigo. Of these, Biman Bangladesh Airlines will operate two flights a week from Dhaka to Kolkata and an equal number to Delhi. However, Novo Air is not currently operating flights. In addition, if someone goes to India on a travel visa, they will have to undergo a corona test at their own expense after arriving at the Indian airport. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.